my trades. Today, we're going to be building this Kansas City Southern SD70 Ace in a Southern Bell paint scheme. So let's get right into the build here. So as usual, our first step is to take a dark oak stair for the rear coupler, and we'll attach that up. Under it, a sideways dark oak vent skate. Then on the next block down, we're going to put three polished black stone on the bottom middle and an upside down polished black stone stair facing outward on either side. Above that, five polished black stone blocks. Then we're going to put two lightning rods right here, two here, then take out the inner one on each side and open a dark oak fence gate on either side of the coupler here. Then come in front of this and do a three block tall T shape of polished black stone in the middle. Hang a lantern on either side of the second layer. Then in front of that, a five by three of polished black stone coming out to each side. Then we're gonna put three oak slabs coming up this side for stairs. Three on this top middle back here and three coming up this side. Then swing around in front of this, skip one block forward from it, and get another right wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then on the upper hit box, two rows of five deep slate tile slabs coming out to each side. Another set of another right wheels and an end rod axle, and another two rows of five deep slate tile slabs. Then a final set of another right wheels and an end rod axle. Open dark oak bend skates into the ends of the wheels here and at this end down here. Then on the second layer, we're gonna fill the top middle three with polished black stone down the length of this truck. Come out one block past these fence gates and then three on the bottom. Coming off the bottom one, we're gonna do a row of upside down, outward facing polished black stone stairs and that's gonna be 18 blocks long in total. Once you have 18 blocks, three polished blocks start at this end, then same thing on this side, 18 upside down polished black stone stairs to frame in the fuel tank on this side. Then we'll come up top and continue filling the top middle three with polished black stone down the length of this fuel tank. Stop at the end of it for now. And we're going to skip one block forward from it and get another right wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then, on the upper hip box, two rows of five deep slate tile slabs. Another set of another right wheels and an end rod axle. And another two rows of five deep slate tile slabs on the upper hip box. Then a final set of another right wheels and an end rod axle. Open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here and at this end down here. Then we'll fill the top middle three with polished black stone on the second layer and stop above these fence gates. In front of this, a five by three of polished black stone coming out to each side of the tracks. In front of that, a T shape in the center, then a lantern on either side. On the bottom middle, three polished black stone stairs facing forward and an upside down stair facing outward on either side. Then a polished black stone block in the middle, two upside down stairs on either side of the second layer. Three oak slabs coming up this side, three on this side for the stairs, and then three on this top middle. Then take a dark oak stair for the coupler, stack it up to the middle second block. Under it, we're gonna put a sideways dark oak end skate, then we're gonna grab a lightning rod. And we're gonna put two lightning rods here, two on this side, then take out the inner ones and open a dark oak end skate on either side of this front coupler. Now come through on the sides of the truck, everywhere there's a wheel, put a deep slate tile slab above each wheel. Same thing here. Then do this side, and up here. Then we're gonna come underneath and come back through, and in front of each wheel, we're gonna hang an upside down grindstone. 
same thing here and then do the other side so grindstones in front of these wheels and up here now my front end spacing the void here making this the conductor side so on this side of the fuel tank, a full row of polished black stone blocks. Then on the other side, start at one end, we're going to put eight sideways anvils. Then start at the other end and do eight sideways anvils like this. Then in this gap, we're going to put a skeleton skull and a mangrove sign. Align with that on the other side, do a mangrove sign and a skeleton skull. Then skip a block and a mangrove button. Then we need a brewing stand and a chain. We're going to put a brewing stand here at the back of the fuel tank and on this side. Then up on this side on this front truck, put a bell right here. Then we're going to take out a grindstone. One here, one here. Same thing on this side. Then we're going to put a sideways chain here and here. Then we'll come to the back truck grindstone here and here, one here and one here, then a sideways chain here and here, and then one here and one here. Now we're going to come up top on this third layer and we're going to fill the whole top middle three end to end with polished blackstone. Then we'll come on this top outside edge and do a full line of yellow concrete going end to end. And then same thing on this side, a full line of yellow concrete. Now come on top of the front on the third block back. We're going to put a black concrete, a door, yellow concrete, two black. Cover the rest of the second layer with yellow concrete. Then on the top middle, three red concrete. And we're going to put a forward facing red nether brick stair on either side. Behind it on the bottom of each side, a red stone block. Then a yellow concrete. Then five red concrete across here. Then on bottom behind that, we're going to do black concrete two black shulker boxes, black concrete, and same thing over here. Then a row of four yellow concrete on each side. And then a row of four red concrete on each side on top of that. Across here, we're gonna do two cyan stained glass, red concrete, two stained glass. Then two cyan stained glass panes on either side behind it, and a red concrete on the backs. Then on top of the windshield, on the top middle three, three red concrete. Behind that, a three by three of light gray wool. Then on these outer edges, we're gonna put four andesite stairs spacing outward on either side of the top. Then a white stained glass pane here and here. Then we're gonna come down on this yellow stripe under the window and we're gonna put an oak sign with the number 40 and an oak sign with the number 50. Hit those both with red dye and a glow ink sack. We'll do the same thing over here. So a sign with 40, a sign with 50. Hit them both with red dye and a glow ink sack. Then we're gonna come in and we need to grab red carpet here. And we're gonna cover the top of this nose with red carpet. Then we'll come in and grab red stained glass pane and we're gonna put three red stained glass panes on this top middle up here. Now, coming off the top of the cab on the back middle, we're gonna do seven red concrete coming back, then two cobbled deep slate, and two iron bars on either side of it. Then a full line of red concrete up here, and right here, put a sign. Then on this side, a full line of red concrete and starting one block forward from the iron bars we're going to put four red stained glass panes. Then we're going to come up under here and do a line of black concrete one block in from the outer edge to
to the back of this section, then a line of yellow. Right here, we'll put a door. Then two red concrete here, two red stained glass panes, and fill the rest of this too high with red concrete to the back. Then swing around here behind these stained glass panes, put two red concrete. Then down here, a line of black concrete to the back of the section, a line of yellow, and two layers of red. Just like that. Now come over to this side. Up under this door, do two black shulker boxes, two concrete, two shulker boxes, and a concrete. Then skip the end block above it and do a full line of yellow up to the door. On this side, we have to do the inverter box. So start right here, do seven deep slate tile walls coming forward, then seven yellow concrete, and seven walls. Then down here, two black concrete on the bottom. And then there's a vent right here. And for that, we're going to use polished basalt. Two, two yellow concrete here. And two polished basalt on top with the patterns going vertical. Then another wall of polished deep slate down in that corner. Then behind this, two black concrete on either side, then two yellow, then red up to the top on each side, and in the center, put a red concrete and a smoker for the exhaust, surrounded on top with iron trap doors like this. Then we're going to come down to the back, on the third block in in the middle, make a pattern of black concrete like this, then a layer of yellow and then three layers of red coming up. Swing around in front of here. Right here, put three netherite. Then three coming forward, and then three in a column. Then we need to get anvils here. We're gonna put three anvils right here. On the sides of this, do a three by three of iron bars. Same thing over here, a three by three of iron bars. Then here, black, yellow, red concrete. Same thing here, black, yellow, red. Then two layers of red on either side of the top to the front of this. Then we'll put red in the center and one red concrete sticking out on either side of the top. Back here, a red concrete, cobble deep slate, two red concrete. Then on the top of that cobble deep slate, an oak trapdoor, and surround it with iron trapdoors. Now on the sides of this, three ladders right here on top, and then same thing over here, three ladders. Then on this back middle, we need to close two oak trapdoors like this. On this side in front of this, two black concrete, two yellow, and a two by two of red above it. Then in front of that, a column of three deep slate tile walls. Then we'll come over to this side, do a black concrete and a yellow, and close the jungle trap door on that one. Then two black concrete, two yellow, and fill the rest of this too high with red concrete, and also a red concrete above these walls. Then on this top outside edge, we're gonna extend another eight red concrete coming forward. Then come across to this side so it's a rectangle and frame it all in. Then three across the middle of this so you make two squares. Then we'll come back underneath here and we'll do a single line of black concrete all the way up each side until it meets up here. Then above that, a single line of yellow concrete on each side. And then above that, two layers of red concrete on either side. So that both sides are all filled in here. Then we're gonna come up top and 
in each of these squares, fill in the middle, and in the center of each one, we're going to do a cobble deep slate with an oak trap door on top of each one. Then we're going to surround each of those with polished andesite and surround it on top with polished andesite slabs on each one. Then we're going to come up under here and put a full row of upside down red nether brick stairs under this part that sticks out. Same thing on this side, a full row of stairs under here. Then we're going to come on this top middle section, fill this middle with light gray wool. Then at the back, in the middle, three polished andesite slabs, two here, and in this gap, open back to back men's skates for a horn. And then fill each side of this section with iron trap doors on either side. Then come up on top of the cab here on the front. We're going to put three light gray carpet here. Two iron trap doors in the center with carpets on the sides. Behind it, two carpets and a flower pot. Then we're going to fill the whole top on this section with light gray carpet until we're covering these iron bars. Then we'll come back here and we'll go all around these fans with light gray carpet. Come across in between here, around this back one, and then around this very back one to the back of the engine. Now come up front, come on this redstone block, put a mangrove sign, and we're gonna type Kansas City Southern. Then hit that with a yellow dye and a glow ink sack. Do the same thing over here, a mangrove sign with Kansas City Southern. Then hit it with a yellow dye and a glow ink sack. Then we're gonna take black carpet and do a T-shape of carpet on this front porch. Then come up here and cover this whole box with black carpet. Then down here, do this walkway all the way to the back. Then come around this corner, a T-shape on the rear end, around this corner, and back up this side here. Then we can put one here, and then cover this. Then we'll start on some railings, so take an oak fence. Right here, come up by four. Here, come up three, over one, up two. Same thing on this side, so come up three, over one, up two. Here, come up four. Then two dark oak fences here, two here. We're gonna repeat it at the back, so go back to an oak fence. Here we'll come up four. Here we'll come up three, over one, up two. Here up four. Here up three, over one, up two. Then two dark oak here, two dark oak here. Then connect your dark oak up fence up right here and start bringing it forward up this walkway. We're going to get here, go up one, over one, up one again, and then over until it connects up with the cap here. Then we'll come to the back on this end, connect our fence up right here and start bringing it forward. get right here comes straight up by three and then over to connect with the cab then come in this corner and put one right here now we'll come up front here on either side of these fences a glow item frame with a frog light then we're going to put a chain across this gap here then on this top middle, a glow item frame with a frog light. Then on the side of it, a dark oak sign with 4050. Same thing on the other side. We're going to hit these signs with white dye and a glow ink sack each.
Now, we'll come down to the rear end. Right here, put a chain. Then on either side of these fences, a glow item frame with a frog light. Then one on this middle with a frog light. Then on either side of the top, we're gonna put a mangrove sign with 4050. And we're gonna hit both of those with yellow dye and a glow ink sign. Next, we need to make some banners here. So we're gonna come into a loom and we're gonna use a black banner and yellow dye and put a vertical in the center. Then go to black dye, do a horizontal on bottom and make the top half black. So we just have this dot. Then go to yellow dye, make the top half yellow. Then go to red dye and put a horizontal on the center. Then we're gonna do a yellow banner with black dye, make the bottom half black and put a red horizontal in the center of that one. And now we'll come place these. And these ones with the dots are to represent where the lettering is. So we're gonna come up under here and we're gonna put three of the ones with a dot, a space in one, a space in three. Do the same thing on this side, align with the front of this lower section, do three, space one, space three. Then we're gonna fill the whole rest of this train on this level with the other banner. Come up here and skip to the outer edge here. Then one here and one here. Come on the front, one here, two here. Then one here, here, here. Come back here and start filling the gaps between here with them. And bring it to the back here. So we have that red stripe on there. Then on the back, we'll put one here and one here. Then we'll come back up this side. Just like that. So now we have that red pin stripe on there. Now we're gonna come up to the front end on the center top yellow block. And we're gonna put an oak sign. It needs to be on the yellow block there. And we're gonna type capital C KCS. Hit that with red dye and a glowing sack. Now we'll do the interior, so come on inside here. In this corner, put an M portal. Then stack smooth sandstone slabs up to the window right here and on the other side. Then stack them up two blocks tall on the side here, two blocks tall on the back middle, and make a staircase coming down in the center. Then two blocks tall over here. Then one slab right here. On this back middle, a blast furnace and a frog light. Then a stair on either side for seats. Up here, a glow item frame with an end crystal. Then a lever on the right. Come down here, turn around, and put a door right here. And now, our interior is complete. And there we have it, folks. We've completed our Kansas City Southern SD70 Ace in the Southern Bell paint scheme. I hope everyone enjoyed the build here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.